Hello and welcome back to more Grand Theft Auto 4. It is interview day. Your girl is finally gonna get a job. Okay, it's finally happened, you guys. We're giving up the YouTube career and we're gonna get a real job. There you have it. That is the end of this video. Need no, don't be silly. So yeah, it's job interview day. Oh I just accidentally hung up on Playboy. That wasn't my fault though, like I was coming out of the menu and it made me do it, okay? It made me do it. I didn't want to do that. I was perfectly happy to take Playboy's call. Hey, I have no man. sound. Where's the sound, time. guys? Where's the sound? Oh. There's the sound! Okay, we gotta speak to this guy. Come on, you were very vocal a second Why ago. Don't you suck my cerebellum. You think you know the answers? With your dull little lives, with your glass box houses, and your mortgages, and your health worries, and your therapists, it's lies! You are building your own hell. I've been to the other side. They want you dead. They, them, they're putting stuff into the air. <laughs> you know, I think stuff okay, makes then. you think those thoughts. I let him go, okay? I let him go. But I did think about murdering him. And, and then I was like, I just don't want the drama. What kind of drama is going on here, guys? Taxi! So, I don't think I've had the call. That's um, Elizabeth. Like, is it the lawyer? You know. So can you take me to Amity Street? Okay. Interview time. Why am I having so many issues with my Elgato? What the fuck? Are you okay? Okay, I think it's this one here. So I'm not sure what time is it. It's 10.09. I mean, today is the day, you guys. So let's just do it. I'm excited. My hair's a riot. Uh. Uh, it's Nico Bellic. I'm here for an interview. Come in, I'll buzz you through. Okay, thank you. Welcome to Goldberg, Ligner, and Scheister, sir. Thank you. Mr. Bellic, welcome. I'll just see if Mr. Goldberg is available. Is it freaking Mr. Goldberg, Goldberg from Mr. WWE? Mr. Bellic has arrived for his interview. Okay, great. Uh, tell him to come through to my office. Would you please follow me, Mr. Bellick? Sure. Okay. Keep cool. Just remember, we're quitting YouTube. Mr. We're getting Goldberg a real job. A he teaches kids to swim, you know. He's just so warm and giving. All he cares about is making the world a better place. And boy, are you in trouble if you get in his way. Do you think he'll like me? Is that a threat? He's just in here. Don't be nervous. He doesn't bite. <laughs> but I do. Oh, man. Hello, Nico. What's that short for, Nikolai? I'm looking for a man who can get jobs done right. Nikolai, I like your resume. You seem to be the sort of man who would go the extra distance. I just need to take another look. Get myself reacquainted with your experience. Uh, when you're ready, stand up and aim your so gun. So, you're the sort of man who doesn't wait to get told what to do. A guy who looks at the world, sees problems, and tries to fix them? Sure. 
My problem is that people don't notice the decay in society. They leave the decay alone, and soon it's too late, so you have to pull the whole tooth. Yeah? I am the guy who goes around shaking people. For people, read society, read city hall. I shake them, and I say floss. Get rid of the rotting flesh stuck in your teeth. Prevent decay. Mouthwash, you hear me? There's this cop. Good cop, but he thinks he's above the law. He's not. You wanna know why? Because the law is clear. I'm gonna crush him into dust. No one is above my judgment. You understand me? Okay. Here at GLNS, we're pushing things to the limit. We're on the front line, young man. A man I was recently young man. in his office, in this very room, was murdered. You gotta fight for what is just in this world. You do? Sure, stand up if you want to. Whatever makes you comfortable. Anyway, give me an example of sometime <laughs> when you worked as part of a team. I pressed the wrong button. Hold on, I just need to text someone. Can I make a phone call? You gotta say something. You can't just do nothing and waste both our time. <laughs> How do I get the weapon Damn wheel up again? Bonus. Whoa, is that thing real? You know, if that thing... Where are the files for your case against McCreary? Shit, they're on my desk. I never hurt anyone. I wouldn't be here if you'd never hurt anyone. Don't fucking move. So what do I do? Do I kill- I kill him? I don't really have a silent gun. Nikolai, this isn't right. I I'm helping people. Listen, I don't want to cause a scene. I'm just gonna knife you. Ah, get out of here. Uh, you do not want to throw a grenade at this guy. I guess I didn't get the job. Fucking hell, this game is loud in my headphones. Stay very calm. I got two stars. I should have just walked away. The wound. You want me to finish you off? I'm gonna die due to how loud this is. Oh my god, hold on. Yeah, they, I wanted to listen to his story a little bit, but then I was like, oh, he definitely sounds like an asshole. You know how it is. Get out of here, son. I think it was just a wall there. Yep. Yeah. Oh, hey! People like me. Sorry, dude. So do I own this office now? I feel like I could, um, get acquainted and- Hey! Ah, oh, he just works here. He just needed the money. Get out of here, sir. Is he hiding? Oh. <laughs> I think he was just hiding. Oh, no! Are you seriously giving me shit? He's like, don't fuck the suit. I'll fuck your suit as much as I want to fuck your suit, okay? Just casual, you know. Legit, I was like, what was the weapon wheel again? I could not remember. So I just stood up in the interview, just like, hold on a minute, I, I need to plan. Um, trying to think of the best way to get. I'm coming after you. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, fuck. Stay down. Stay the fuck away from me. Get in! Get in! Right, what am I at? Three stars. Okay. It's not the worst. 
Excuse me. Okay, I need to get some distance. Get in a different vehicle. <laughs> oh man, they are pissed. I mean, I'm assuming I had to kill him. Like, I think there was no other way. Am I good here? Yes! That wasn't nearly as bad. Like, we've had issues in the past with wanted levels, but that was good. That was easy. I can't steer this car for the life of me, though. So, I kind of bigged up the job interview. A lot. And it turned out to be pretty meh. This is what happens when you don't play a game for a while. <laughs> and then you come back into it and, um, yeah. So how have you guys been anyway? Fucking shit. I have been not good, like, not good at all. In the past week alone, I've had a ton of blood tests done. My arms are bruised to shit. It's, um, it's not very nice. Okay, let's just go in here. Still no closer to figuring out what is wrong with me. Still living each day as it comes. This guy better not turn on me now. Here are the files. Great. Peace at last. I feel cleansed. You silenced Goldberg too, right? I don't need to worry about him? He's done. Whoa, music to my ears. A weight has been lifted. Here's your payment. Easy freaking. Peasy. All right. This is quite a long game, though. I think just because I've been playing it for a while, I'm gonna do another one here. It feels like a sure, long game, Ma, sure. but maybe if I played it daily, I've it'd be different. I've always been a good boy. You know me, Ma. Y yes, I'll make commissioner. No, I don't care about Packy. Listen, Ma, I I've got to go. I love you too. Good to see you. I'm sure. Uh, you know, it's funny, but I see a lot of me in you. You know why? No. You know there's no good and no evil. Just shades of fucking gray. Whatever. You make things 1% better, that's enough. That's our duty. If you say so. Oh, I do say so. I want to make things a bit better by any means necessary. And you, what do you want? I want to get paid. I was gonna say money. Sure. I just like money. Yeah, sure you do. So listen, I got something I need you to do. This is the last time. Of course. Some drug dealer is holed up in a tower block in East Holland. Now, this scumbag's been pushing drugs, pimping women, you name it, he's done it. I need him dealt with. Isn't that police work? <laughs> sure. <laughs> and the moon is made of cheese and the streets is paved with gold. Wake up! Excuse me? The guy's guilty as sin. He is sin! <laughs> but it'll take me a year to get the evidence. More, maybe. And maybe good men will get taken down by that <laughs> evidence. <laughs> maybe people make mistakes. But this guy is scum. How much? Oh, how much? Good money. Uh, two G's. Two? You mean five. <laughs> you know, if someone was to tell me you were some fresh off the boat killer with more balls and brains, I'd say he was about right. 
Uh, okay, you got a deal. Head on up to Vauxite and call me. Five G's. I mean, we're deserving of five G's. I just can't believe that this whole game started so innocent. Okay, let's go to projects in East Holland. But I mean, look at all the taxis! Can I borrow your vehicle? Holy shit! Ah! No, stop it! I kind of feel like the taxi thing ruins it a little bit. Because it's too easy to just jump in a taxi Thank you. and be where you want to be. It's like, why would you drive around? When you can just cab it, you know? Maybe it's different when you're not filming it. I'm outside the project. Where is he? Should be on the second floor. Keeps an eye on all his boys from up there. The guys you see are gonna be working for that scumbag in one way or another. Anyway, these projects all got the same layout. A staircase leading up on either side. Try to get off the ground floor before getting violent. Violent? Me? Yeah, you. Remember, you're doing a real service for the community by getting rid of this scumbag. Francis McCreary is the community now? You're starting to sound like your friend Hello. Manny. Okay, take down Colodence. I definitely look like I belong here though, right? Suit and tie. Like fuck me, I literally look like Hitman. Just This ain't really the place for you, tough guy. Yeah, sure, man. <laughs> oh my god. I just I don't Listen I... up, yo. Get out of here. Listen up, yo. Just looking for the stairs, yo. Stairwell is over this way. Mm. Like, if I run past them with a gun. Only thing you'll find up there is a bunch of people who want to kick your ass. Screw you. Okay, well, I'm not getting violent. But I'm getting shitty. You come to the wrong project, fool, and you're gonna pay for it. Oh really? Let's do the damn thing. How do I punch again? Oh there we go. Fuck me. I'm gonna keep it real. I'ma keep it real too, but I can't fucking punch for shit. running I was like is that a grenade no okay son of a bitch has run up the stairs and I don't have much HP you're glad you messed with me um shit Ah, oh, fuck. I mean, it was the police that told me to do it. Uh, 
Uh, I want to be quick getting out of here, but... Yeah, let's just be quick getting out of here. Because I was like, maybe there's some HP up top. them. Oh man, so I know a good way out. I just don't have much HP. I wonder... Is that HP on the wall? My lord. Hallelujah! <laughs> I just went up on like the off chance. Everyone's gonna be like, you played this before. I most certainly have not. Okay, um. God. Okay, stay cool. Don't use that thing. You're about to be a statistic. Hit the deck. Stay right there. You ain't going nowhere. We got you pinned in. Ah! Oh no! stars. Okay, let's try this way. Excuse me, coming through. Okay, we're out, we're out, we're out. Come on. Yes! Whew! Why do I feel like that's gonna have a lot of repercussions, though. Do you know, we haven't been to Elizabeth in a while. You don't have to worry about Clarence anymore. You did a good thing, Nico. That boy was mean. He had a tongue on him, too. Always talking his way out of court, willing to compromise anyone to get out of trouble. Thank God for real justice. Oh, yeah, yeah, real justice. Okay. We are gonna go and visit Elizabeth. Because it's been a while. So the last time we had anything to do with Elizabeth, if I recall, 
She was about to get busted thanks to that bitch, Michelle. And now, now that I think about it, I'm like, girl, are you really gonna go into another mission needing uh, HP and uh, armor? So those last two missions, what do you think? Lucky, skill, That was skill, right? Yeah, the last one definitely could have gone bad. That's what I think, for sure. Oh, yeah! Nico, tell me you want you to shot up the strip club in Wuhan. You asked me to help out Dwayne. That's what I was doing. Don't help him out when it fucks up my business. Don't by me. Damn, son! That ain't cool. Oh. Well, I kind of said that to you guys, did I not? Where it's like, it feels like the story is pulling me in two different directions. And at the moment, I feel closer to Dwayne than Playboy, definitely. Just something about Playboy, like... I don't even know how I just did that. <laughs> I am a firm believer in rehabilitation. And I feel like Dwayne has come out and everything's fucked up. And I just don't... I don't feel like it's fair. Get your hand out my pocket. And now suddenly Playboy's like, oh, what are you doing? Like, don't go near him. And it's like, well, you should be there for him. Have a heart, as the mission says. Hey, man, this is getting out of control. The police are all over me. I can feel them. So? So, 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 so I'm gonna go to prison for a long time. <laughs> so my life is over. Oh. All this work for nothing, man. Oh, being tough in a man's world. I guess I wasn't so tough, huh? Oh, hey, turned states. Everyone's a rat. Not me. Whatever. Open up, man. Who is it? It's the streets, man. Okay, hold on. All right, man. Oh. This is what Manny's oh. all about, man. Manny, 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 Manny. Now, man. word out, bitch. You better stop slinging that shit on my streets, yo. We don't want it anymore. Hey, OJ, you catching this? Rolling, what rolling. Is this, Manny, for fuck's sake. The streets sake. have spoken. Now leave my people alone. Hey, yo, Nico, what are you doing here? Oh. Okay. I am not okay. in the mood for this right now. Well, he said he was going to bust the dealer. Can you help me clean this mess up? There's a doctor and broker who can help. Come on, let's put him in my car. Oh, oh man, all my dance moves, like, it don't mean nothing now. I think the raspiness from smoking is sexy. I'm trying to tell you. Take the bodies to the doctor. I mean, why do I feel like this ain't gonna be just as simple as, like, yeah, I'll take the bodies and nothing will happen. But what do you mean I reached? Oh. I was like, what? I'm not there already. Well, if I see any place that I can get HP along the way, then I will. That's something I really like about this game, is that you can get HP in the middle of a mission. So I remember San Andreas, I was like, oh, you can't do that, and it was a pain in the ass, and whatnot. Right, we are coming off here. Are we? Whoa, 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 whoa. I would like to pay, please. I don't need the police on me right now. This guy's a maniac, why'd he bite me? Paid info. 
Yeah, I, I just don't need the drama right now. I've got dead bodies. Poor Nico. I have to do everything for everyone. What is this driving? Shit, Jacob, I'm sorry. I'm already hanging out with two friends. I've kind of got my hands full looking after them. But we should do something soon, though. The fuck, man? Oh. How do I close the trunk? Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my bonnet. It's okay. Oh, I'm in there anyway, so it's fine. Hopefully there's no police anywhere. I can't believe this shit. Okay. Made it! Oh, fuck. I've got some bodies in here. No! You can't pump the trunk like that. No. Natural causes? Of course. Seems like a bullet in the head is as natural as it gets in this town. They weren't sick, were they? No? Had a few problems with sick bodies. No one wants a liver if it's riddled with tumors, huh? Know what I mean? No. <laughs> Shit. Looks like the bullet went right through this one's eye. And the price of eyes is through the roof at the moment. <sighs> Fine. Can I leave you with these or what? Sure. I'll have these organs out on the street in no time. Well, at least they were organ donors, huh? He'd been trying to help the streets his whole life. Maybe he'll actually be doing it now. Oh, don't get me anywhere near this dock. He's crazy. You're welcome. Lord, man. So is that us done with Elizabeth then? What's the word? The doctor has that stuff. Son, one last thing to bother me. The heat is closing in, Nico. This particular party is ending. Yeah, I think things are finally catching up with everyone. I think I'm at least halfway over this game. Um, let me just see. I could do with click and bail. What's this? Darts. Okay, mm let's go to the click and bell. This is a nice car. Ooh, nearly wrecked it already. Yeah, before we, are you seeing that on the map? It says F U. Fuck. Literally. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, I am. Um... Right, who the fuck? What? Nico, it's Patrick McCreary. You and me did some work for Elizabeth and Torres together? You mean I saved your ass? Well, if I'd have known it was such a big deal to you, I would have asked you to let them kill me. Anyway, if you're in need of extra funds, I'm in need of a good man. Come over to Mama's on Savannah Avenue in Meadows Park. I'm always in need of money. See you there. I really need to go in. Oh, I don't want to walk around with a gun on. Fucking <laughs> bell. What up? What up, son? Yo, what you need, dog? Just seeing Nico like. You must got an iron stomach, dog. I do, dog. Okay, and hey, thanks for coming in to Cluck and Bell. Thanks, you you worker at Cluck and Bell. Right, we have ooh, the P is actually the closest. Let's go and see Packy, shall we? Yeah, cause you, Francis, are miles away. Ah! Uh, Nico, shit is getting fucked up. I need to see you with my crib. How did the big real estate deal go? That cat ain't got no business. Shit, the shit down the side and shit. Speaking of a memorial, the union worker who died in an accident, damn fuck, you step on me. I got bigger problems. 
Come see me now. Well, no. Because I'm on my way to see Packy just now. Whoa. These cars, you guys. And now I don't drive like that in the real world. Okay. I don't even know why people ask me that. Like, do you honestly think I would drive like that? All I'm saying is that we'll all be judged in the end. All of your brothers. And you, Patrick. And you, Kate. Who's gonna judge Kate? What would she win if they did, Virgin of the Year? No. I'm thinking maybe you can catch VD for both Fuck of us, you, Patrick. Fuck you, Katie. Language. Sorry, Ma. Ho oh, ho, there he is. Mr. Fucking Crazy Man. You want a beer? No. Good, because I ain't fucking got none. Very funny. Well, then why did you offer one, Lisa? You can be a comedian. Fuck off. <laughs> and you, Kate, fuck off out of here. But aren't you going to introduce us? Sure. This is Nico, some drug dealing to fucking generate from some armpit in Eastern Europe. That's my ma. Nice to meet you. Hi. And this is my sister, lovely lass, scared to bits of life, and fucking off out of here right now before I throw a fucking bottle at her. Patrick. Nice to meet you. Likewise. See you around. Oh. Bye. Hey, new girlfriend. What a girl. I think she likes you. Word to the wise, though. She don't put out, which is convenient, because if she did, I'd have to kill you. Understood. Good lad. You got any drugs on you, boy? No. Nope. Shit. Well, probably a good thing. We got some business to take care of. Come on. I love the old school TVs We've got with the freaking circle so ideal on them. Oh. Where's your car, man? We need a car. I don't remember where I parked it. This one will do. Why do you always call my mobile? Okay, there's a ship coming in and we're the welcoming party. Who are we welcoming and what have they got that makes this drive worth the effort? We're welcoming some of our cousins from the east, but we don't know what it is that they're bringing in. Exactly. All we know is that it's worth a dollar or two. My brother Gerald had word about it through this Italian, Ray Vicino. He gave us the heads up in exchange for a cut of the haul. What makes you think that the information is legit? First off, I don't trust this guinea for a second. We wouldn't be working for him if our family still had the same status it did back in the day. That's another story. Am I going to hear this story? Anyone who hangs around my family hears about the old days. Just wait. Oh yeah, Ray Vicino's a slimy motherfucker. The one thing you can rely on him for is greed. I'm too small time to be worth setting up, so the one angle he can be playing is the cash one. Makes sense. Yeah, he'll probably try to give us a fraction of whatever this stuff's worth, but it'll be a fun night. Depends on what you think is fun. Stealing, gunfire, car chases, all the usual stuff. Usual for you and me, maybe. The general population, I'm not so sure. General population? That's a prison term. You ever been inside? Not in this country. In Europe. They do things different there. Not I was so gonna say, I say that in the as well, and I haven't gone to jail. America. Must have been a real disappointment. Bet a guy like you thought he was gonna be real popular with the lifers. Did no one pay you any attention? As I said, the whole prison bitch thing is an American phenomenon. It don't happen on the other side of the ocean. Well, you gotta do some time over here. See what you've been missing out on in your chased European jails. I'm going to pass on that. Send me a postcard if you do some time. Will do. Might even put you on the visitors list. I'd be fucking <laughs> touched. You'd be touched if you did some time, that's for sure. We would oh! see if they'd be able to touch me. I got some moves. You're a good man, Nico. I like you. Not in a fun in the showers kind of way. You know, a male bonding about to go rob some people kind of way. I think I know what you're saying. All right, here we are. What's the plan? We get up on the roof of that warehouse. There should be a good view of the dock so we can scope that shit out. We're going this way. Right, let's do it. At least I've got a decent gun as well. I've got some rifle ammo, so if we have to start killing from a distance, then I think I'll be fine. Ah, uh, a day without failing missions. Now that... That is the dream. Follow me, Nico. God, I'm getting a freaking tutorial like 10 hours in. You 
better be right about this shipment. If it's just fish, I'm gonna be pretty irritated, Pecky. It depends on what kind of fish, though. Because there is some fish that sell for big bucks. I think I look out of place. I don't think so. This is where the deal's meant to be going down. Here's the boat, right on time. There's not much, though. See those boxes on the back of the boat? They must be bringing clone meds. Meds? Yeah, stuff that'll stop housewives cutting their wrists and make their husbands get wood. Meds. Molly, sedatives, antidepressants, meds. Okay, how do we do it? We'll wait until the truck is loaded, then we'll take it. Simple as that. Quietly, I'll cover or... You from up here while you're down on the ground cleaning up. These better okay. be some good fucking pills. The housewives better be grateful. Ah, oh, fuck. Climb down the mini cabin to get to the ground. Okay. Would it not be better off taking, like, taking them out just now? Jump down there, man! Have at him! Cause, like, at least I can have some protection. Careful when we, uh, Ooh! Jesus Christ, Nico. That was mad skills. I was not expecting that. Having fun. I should have blown that up. So there's definitely a guy in here. I don't think it's my gun. I can take this scumbag now. All right, come on, Packy. Okay, let's All go, right, go, go. Drive. I'll take out anyone who tries to follow us. We're going up to Ray's lockup in Westminster off of Union Drive West. Okay. I was like, where do I get out of here? Why well, do I feel like they're gonna come for us? What do you mean, can I go any quicker? It's a truck! 
Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the road. You should have backed off a long time ago. They're taking this real serious, aren't they? They do not like to drive their girls. Not many people do. That's a lesson I've learned. Fucking Pacino said it'd be easy. You think I enjoy a good ruck? Is it Chinese New Year already? I just I don't want them firing at the Get in the car. Get in the car! <laughs> oh, I'm not getting busted! Get in the fucking. These fucking fat donut eating sons of bitches! I just gotta get this fucker. Okay, we good? Come the police. Let's go, let's go. Go, 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 go. Okay. Hopefully there's no more that decide to appear. I just didn't want them constantly, like... I mean, I can shoot, that's fine, but... I just didn't want them constantly shooting at the truck, you know? Because that's what gets you with these missions. You end up with these guys coming after you, and then they destroy the truck, and then... You just waste so much time doing it again. Although I'm gonna destroy it in a second because I cannot drive to save myself. It kind of looks like Coca-Cola. It is cola! Oh! Ah, oh, okay. I do love cola. Oh, it's so good though. Anyone else? No, we're here, look. Oh shit! Oh yeah! The stuff all in there? Sure is. All safe and sound. Whole truckload of it. A lot of wives and mistresses are gonna be happy when their men get a hold of those, huh? Whole city's gonna be hard in a few days' time. Who's this? That's my boy Nico. He's an absolute savior. Couldn't have done it without him. Nico, come over here. You work for these mick bastards. Fucking guinea. I work for whoever's paying. I might give you a call sometime. Get in, Packy. Hey, I'll catch you around, man. I like that, though. It's like, I work for money. I don't work for any of you. Like, I don't have loyalties to you. But I just work for whoever's paying, and I like that. All right, taxi! Ah, ah! Excuse me. <laughs> right, let's go to. Uh, I want to go to uh, Zeno Time Street. Let's just see what the hell is going on with Playboy. Like, he's so angry at me Great, right thanks. now. Nico, I'm getting worried. Roman didn't get back at all last night. He likes to party. He stays out late the whole time. You know what he's like. Not on my watch, he don't. Something ain't right. Should I phone him and just... Hello? 
What's going on, Roman? Ladies, this is Roman Bailey. Okay, fine. He's obviously got the worst hangover imaginable. What's up, money? Hey, man. Business is tough. Now, I ain't a cold person. I mean, I am cold, but motherfucker. What are you talking about? You want a drink? Uh, man, have a seat, man. All right. Now, I got into this dope gang because it was the only thing that was open to me, man. The only thing, man. Hey, I am not judging. No, listen. Now, I paid my dues. Now, I learned in a hard school, man. And I changed stuff. You know me. I do this stuff so I got a chance to do some good in this town. So you say. So I say. So I do. When I get the money, man, I will build parks. I will sponsor kids. I will save lives. But I got to have the money, man. Is all this? All this, it means nothing if you ain't got the heart, Nico. Amen, brother. <laughs> I mean, fuck, man. Fuck! The thing is, you know, Jesus, he did some crazy shit, too. I mean, everyone does. He killed people. He killed that John the Baptist cat. He did what he had to. I don't think you're correct about that. Man, also, the what is the is, point? Man, history is a long time. And you only got one chance. And Dwayne, man, Dwayne, it's like he thinks it's 1992, and the best that you can hope for is a gold chain and a pager. You know, he looks at me like he wants me dead. Now, I took care of business. I gave him money, but because I won't bow down to him and treat him like he the almighty, motherfucker wants to pop me. Dwayne is a little troubled. He was in prison a long time. Maybe you guys should talk. No, I tried talking. No, I... I tried giving him half of the business. I tried everything a man could reasonably try and still call himself a man. <laughs> so what you gonna do? Kill him? Hey, I didn't say that. Man, you cold. <laughs> I was joking. But what else is there? I mean, Cash been talking. Now I hear things. Said you and me was too tight now. Said you disrespected him. Called him mad. He's going crazy. I mean, he's gone. Prison does that. Well, you can't kill him. Nope. But you can. But you can. Oh, no! I don't agree with that. But I don't want to. Well, neither okay. do I, man. But if he goes insane, we all dead anyway. I mean, Dwayne is a killer. Uh, I don't like this conversation. But do you think that I do? But it's kill or be killed out there. You got a lunatic after you? Man, you dumb. He wasn't after me, <laughs> though. Now I will give you a lot of money. Because see me? Now, I ain't scared of no one. But a motherfucker says he's going to kill me, the motherfucker's going to die. <sighs> Man, I'm not sure. I got to think about it. Well, I hope you see some sense. I will be in touch. Don't like it. I think he's talking shit. The last time we were with Dwayne, it was fine. I mean, fine. He wasn't talking about offing Nico. He was sad in himself. I don't like it. I think, um... Maybe Playboy is insecure. Oh shit. I think he's insecure when it comes to Dwayne. And he just wants me to take him out. But I don't like it, like at all. Okay, I think I'm gonna change my clothes. As much as it's cool to rock around in a suit, it just doesn't work. Nico, what's this I hear about you running with Patrick McCreary now these days? He's got work and he's a good guy. 
You're not planning on taking him down, are you? Lay off him, for me. I'm not planning on taking him down. He's my damn brother, you idiot. Hacky McCreary, Francis McCreary. It's all starting to make sense. I knew Irish families were big, but I didn't expect to run into brothers in the place the size of Liberty City. Yeah, just thank the Lord you ran into Packy and not my other brothers. Packy's just a hood, but Gerald is into some serious shit. And Derek, he's the worst. If that asshole ever comes back from Ireland, I can't be held responsible for what I do. My brothers ain't no good, Nico. Trust me on that. You know what? Me and Packy get along. Maybe if doing what you do is good... Then I want to be no good instead. I should meet the other McCreary's. Be careful what you wish for. Oh, ho, ho. right. Let's try on. That is awful. God. That makes him look like an old man. Choice, yes. Get let's go for it. Home myself. And some jeans. <laughs> Yes. I you're gonna rock that look, bro. I look like a fucking farmer. Okay. Yo, look at me go. Anyone actually into the style? I don't care. Right, I could do some HP, but I don't want to steal a car when there's a police car. Right, can you take me? To... Hey, where you going, Matt? Uh... We're going weapons. To so that I can actually get some armor. Got it. Sorry, man. This is the clothes I can get you. What do you mean? It's like right by the door. I really hope that there's not a thing in this game where it's like, you actually need 500,000 pounds. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? Right, where's my... It's not these. Is it this one? Yes. Cool. Catch you later. Thank you so much. So it is gonna kick off, you guys. It's very much gonna kick off between me, Playboy, and Dwayne. And I just, I don't know what is the right decision to make. I mean, you should know that based on the bloody outfit I'm wearing currently, but. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's been a wee while since they've actually said about making a decision to take someone out. But I like Dwayne. Wait. So. I don't know. All right, I'm all out of time for this episode of GTA 4. Uh, thank you so much, as always, for watching me play this for the first time. And I will catch you all in the next episode. Bye.